Temporarily AP, okay, we're waiting for the fog to lift and also to see what the winds are doing and the line of storms that are supposed to come through this afternoon. Okay. If it's on time, we may have time for a race, but if it's coming earlier, we're going to just uh, scrap it. Okay, okay. What, what kind of velocity do we have out there? Uh, uh, we're in our uh, sailing area, there's about 11 to 13. Great. It's gusting a little higher, but that's a sustain, no higher than 13. Okay, good. So it'd be a good, an excellent day if we could get rid of the storm. Yes, and if we can get rid of the uh, fog. Uh, fog. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. In the airport, we're still talking about 12, 13, you know. Um, Oh, that stupid guy, right. that stupid guy with that camera. Okay, Carol, give us a recap. <laughs> no, uh, we went out and it was only blowing 12 to 13 and we got the thumbs up from Greg. And I didn't think anyone was having too much difficulty. Those that felt they were, turned around and went back in after they came halfway out. And we began the race a few minutes um, after proposed time because we had a few stragglers, but we didn't wait for every single one of them. And the first uh, rounding was lovely. It was still blowing 12, 13, maybe gusting to 14 at the very max. And then about halfway up the windward leg, it, it jumped uh, four or five knots. And we would see in 15, 16s in gusting to 18s. And that's what we came in on. Uh, as as we started to come in, however, it did pipe up. We saw an occasional 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, it, seemed, it felt like a whole lot more than that. Well, it felt like there. it was blowing 40. Yeah, those it. waves. Yes. Yeah, really, yeah. Because the waves were getting steeper and sh shorter between. You know? yeah. How many cap sizes? Did, did you count that stuff? Or, uh, or I several? only had 10 fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there were about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Oh, not too bad. Yeah. Too bad. Would you say that was about right? That's what I heard. Yeah. Uh, right. Most were fine. There was only one boat that got water logged in his baler broke, uh, so he had to be towed in, but everybody else made it in on um, their own steam. Great. Excellent. Well, I, phenomenal races. You, I think I think Thanks. you did, you know, I'm, from the Thistle class's point of view, you guys, again, did did phenomenal job. Well, thank you, Craig. Yeah. It was a pleasure. It always is. <laughs> okay, we're here with Greg Griffin, the uh, winner of Friday's race. And um, Greg, Greg, fill us in. Would give us a recap of the race. Yeah, we um, we were worried about this line, frontal line, pushing down because there's a lot of nasty stuff in it. So we knew we had a narrow window to get the race in. So. Um, they determined once the fog list lifted a little bit and the visibility got better that the wind was only about 10 to 12 once you got away from this shoreline right here. It was kind of funneling along here, so it seemed like it was really blowing hard in the boat harbor. But uh, once we got out there, it wasn't too bad. It built a little bit right before we got started and then came back down. So when we were started, when we got started, it was probably about 10 to 12 again. And uh, so. You know, our goal was to stay away from the right, figuring we were in close and um, the tide would be running along the right, that channel. And we we worked the, we wanted to start near the pin, because it's usually got about a five degree pin favor and people were holding back from the line nicely. So we were about a third of the way up from the pin. Most of the fleet was to our right, but we were able to get a good start and work up. Uh, maybe we sailed for three minutes on starboard tack until we could cross just about everybody and then we started getting a little bit uncomfortable to the uh, to the left and then took a hitch back in we got pinged out one time by one boat we went over and and hipped up on a couple boats that we had ducked and um, and then we just uh, we hiked really hard and we're able to actually end up getting over those boats and uh, so we came in at that point we set a long port tack and we're uh, we're, I think, third around the weather mark. And then downwind was, we had good good wheels upwind and we had better wheels downwind. And we were able to sail to the front downwind and uh, and then just play it real conservative upwind. Sailed back up, just kind of managing, managing the fleet, trying to not to get too far either side. 
and uh, it was one of those days where the waves were huge, they were short and steep, and uh, you really had to have good communication. Our forward crew was talking to us a lot about when we could tighten in the main a little bit and steer up a little bit more in a flat spot, and he'd also warn us when we had a big set of waves coming in, and we really worked hard to keep the boat on its feet and moving the whole time, and we were able to, to extend downwind once we got around the weather mark we uh, we got in sync on the waves and just I think we opened up doubled our lead downwind so uh, wow. it was just one of those things we were in sync with the waves and that's there were a lot of waves out there today and the, the teamwork was incredible uh, I, I can't say enough about the communication and the skills of the guys I had with me Dave DeCamp and Mark Redaway were just absolutely on their game today and it, it, it really showed because they they pushed us to the front wow great and how fun was it downwind it was exhilarating we were sitting on the back grading at least i was and uh just uh look watching the waves and riding them we uh we were actually we get some of those big ones and you you'd run into the next one we get all the crew weight back and start plowing over that one we actually were able to to pass some waves which uh so it was blowing pretty hard in those puffs that we were able to do that in did you jive several times yeah we jived a few times um we uh we wanted to be really conservative we we were in a position we we were covering two boats because we couldn't really catch the boats that were ahead of us we had a 23 point gap between us and paul and robbie was uh, 24 points so we knew we really couldn't catch them unless they were in bad shape at the weather mark we evaluated our situation when we got to the weather mark decided we need to be conservative at the same time, once we got rolling downwind, I think the uh, adrenaline took over and we were pretty aggressive with the uh, waves and we were sailing deeper than a lot of folks, but when you catch those waves, all of a sudden the boat will just dive down and you can ride with it and it felt it felt safe to me. My, my forward Dave was saying though, we were a little, we were On pushing the edge. it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, congratulations. Great, Thanks a lot, great sailing this week. It yeah. was fun. Yeah. With uh, Greg Fisher, the winner of 2007 uh, oh, Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, okay, we'll see Jeff in, in about a minute. So congratulations, Greg, on a, Thanks, Greg. On a fantastic, uh, fantastic week of sailing. So tell me about today. What happened today? Well, it was actually, it started out as a real beautiful day of sailing. It was probably 15, 18, um, not real shifty, not real wavy. It's just really nice. And uh, as the race wore on, they did a nice job in making it a short when we're lured course. And um, as the race wore on, it got windier and windier, and by the end, somebody said it was blowing almost 25. And uh, there were some capsizes, some carnage on that last leg especially. And uh, by the time we all got down to the last gate, and there was a really short beat to the finish, it was getting a little hairy, I gotta say. And we were working real hard to be very careful, because we were in good enough shape at that time um, that we knew we just kind of had to not make any big boo-boos to hang on which is what we did all right good so, uh, tell, tell me about your crew who, who who'd you sail with this week well i had my wife joanne who's always a lot of fun to sail with and um, we we love sailing together so that was neat and then jeff iber and i think jeff and i sailed our first thistle mid winners together in probably 1981 or 82. <laughs> so we barely get each other around the course anymore, like a couple of little old ladies, but we have a lot of fun sailing together, and uh, we're looking forward to doing more of it. And actually, Jeff and Joanne and I sail together a lot, um, and we have a great time doing it. So it was really fun. Great. We now, feel very fortunate and uh, had a great week. Fantastic. Now, you were first place. Who was second place? Uh, Paul Dulo was second, and Robbie Brown was third. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, so it was fun. Great. Yeah, well, great. congratulations on a great week. Oh, thanks. And it was a beautiful week. Next time, everybody's got to come down. It's a fun time, fun thing. The Coach TCA deal is always a lot of fun. The weather was great. Parties are good. So can't miss it next year.